What's happening, guys? Thank you for tuning in to the Kevin Carhee Show. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy the show. All right, guys, let's get to it. Five mistakes men make after a breakup. Five mistakes men make after a breakup. Like I said, a shout out to the free crowd, the crowd that is free from heartache, heartbreak, and heart manipulation. And guys, if this is you, if this is a part of the crowd that you fit into, guys, go ahead and stand up and give yourself a round of applause. Thank God and pat yourself on the back. The mistake, the first mistake, guys, and this is in no particular order. It's just, I'm just going to list them out. Now, I could write a whole book on shit men do after they break up that they don't need to be doing. But this is the this is starting with number one. It's trying to beg and reason with the woman to come back. Guys, there's no advantages to doing this. If you take if she takes you back, then you're gonna have to put up with all kind of bullshit, and all you're gonna be is a placeholder until she finds who she's really looking for. Because obviously she's not your type. Now, if you're going out there cheating and abusing a woman and she's just tired of being abused, she's tired of being cheated on. And, and and for the, for the most part, then you know, guys, a lot of this don't apply to you. And I guess it do apply to you. Yeah, it do apply to you. Cause you should, if you're doing all that, and she decided to leave your ass, then you don't need to be trying to beg her back no way. Cause she probably ain't gonna even take you back. And even if she do, it's just a matter of time before she permanently get rid of your ass. But we just saying for this particular for. Conversation purposes, we're going to say that you're a pretty good guy. You're you're an average to above average guy. You're a pretty good guy. If she takes you back after you down on your knees begging, guys, it's only a matter of time before she finds somebody that she really wants to be with. It's only a matter of time. And during that time that she do take you back, she's going to punish you by disrespecting you wholeheartedly. So there's no advantages. If she don't take you back, then it's going all it's going to do is uh, drain your self-esteem, drain your confidence in yourself. Cuz when a woman leaves you, her ego says that she wants to know that if she if, if all in all, she can always take you back. As everything fails, she can always turn back to you and you don't ever want to be that type of guy. If she leave you, then cut her ass off and there's no return. Period. Let her go on by the business. And if you take her back after she leave, guys, that's saying that she ain't got no better option and she just selling for you because the people she want right now don't want her or the person she want don't want her. That's basically all it's saying. And she's saying, well, since I can't get this over this, well, shit, man, I might well go on back over here and sell for this dude. That's all that's saying, guys. And that does nothing for your confidence. Number two, trying to make a woman jealous. That's absolutely no advantages of trying to make a woman jealous. Number one, it shows that you're putting in the effort because you care. You put in the effort, you're going out your way to show her that you still care by trying to make her jealous. And if the woman don't get jealous organically, then nine times it ain't gonna work anyway. All it's gonna do is it'll make her mad and say, "Oh, he." But eventually, when she sit down, come to her goddamn senses, she gonna realize that you ain't doing nothing but trying to make her jealous, and you're actually putting in effort, and it's showing that you still have some kind of feelings for her. So. Don't be out there trying to make no woman jealous. And I know you have people say, well, post this on social media. Let her see you living your life. You moving on. Man, you don't need to let her see nothing. Only thing you need to tell yourself is this is, a, this is the path. She's over with. I'm about to find somebody better. I'm about to work on myself. Put all this energy into myself. And I ain't finna be thinking about your ass or whatever the hell you got going on. Trying to use, the number three thing is trying to use uh, another woman to get yourself over the ex. And we've already talked about this many times. That ain't going to work. Now, I, I do suggest that you go out on dates 
and uh, enjoy other women, but don't try to get in a relationship thinking that that woman going to be able to pull your feelings away from the old woman, away from your ex. That ain't going to happen. Now, you might fall in love with the new woman, but you're going to still have an attachment built up for the old woman. And with that being said, that means you have a certain level of, of control that, or well, I ain't going to say it like that. You have lack of control in a certain area. Because the other woman still has some sort of control on your emotions. Because you still have an attachment built up with the other woman. So doing that is never going to work. Don't ever try to get in a relationship to try to get you through another relationship. I don't care how good the other woman is. This shit nine times out of ten ain't finna work. And the only thing you're going to do is end up messing the relationship you got up. And you're still going to have to go through the whole process of the breakup. You're still going to have to go through the whole grieving process. And on top of that, you're going to mess up some friendships and a possibly re a future relationship if that's what you're looking for. If that's what you're looking for, that's what you're going to probably end up messing up, guys. Number five, not working on yourself. You could be, uh, uh, it could be a blessing that you, that relationship didn't work out. It could be a blessing in disguise. And see, sometimes we think we done lost something when a lot of time it's addition by subtraction. She, she God X'd her out your life in order for you to be happy, in order to add something into your life. So you got to be mindful of that, guys. And not working on yourself, that means that you don't think that there's nothing better. You think God is punishing you because he X'd her out your life. If you were doing all kind of shit to the woman or whatever that you know you ain't supposed to be doing, then guess what? Maybe it is a punishment. Maybe he's trying to show you that instead of looking for a woman, you need to be trying to work on yourself. So whenever you do get a woman, you can treat her like she's supposed to be treated. And a lot of that is the way you want to be treated, with respect. Just because you the man of the household, you, you got a lot of masculine energy, don't mean you got to treat the woman like she shit or treat her like she ain't nobody. That's called being irresponsible. And really, that ain't, hell, I would contribute that to being feminine. That's a feminine trait right there, treating somebody that the way you don't want to be treated or the way you wouldn't want to be treated. And working on your spiritual goals is another thing that you need to do when you're working on yourself. Work on your spiritual goal. Meditate. Do something. Whatever it is you believe in. But you have to work on yourself. You can't just sit around and watch yourself go down. Because eventually, something might happen in your mind that you don't want to happen. You might find yourself in a place that you don't want to be in. So a lot of times guys sit around looking at the goddamn telephone staring at social turning at her social media all the time and thinking that something gonna change and you're wasting time when you could be working on yourself building yourself up health wise success wise your goals everything and that's a that's a huge mistake number five is trying to sleep with a whole bunch of women just to try to make yourself feel better or feel better about your inadequacy guys if you happen to be dating and you sleeping with, with all kind of women that's one thing but you're working on yourself you got your goals you're working hard you're not chasing women they just happen to be around they just happen to uh, uh work their way into your life sometime i mean some kind of way then okay i get it but if you just set not to just sleep with a whole and that's your main focus that's a mistake that is a mistake because you're going to end up nowhere. And many times you might end up back in the same position that you were before all, everything kicked off. You might end up back in that situation or in a worse situation. You might end up with a, a woman that's pregnant or get somebody pregnant. You, you might end up in all kind of shit. And I can go on and on with shit that could happen when you when you just sleeping with a whole bunch of women purposely that's your whole focus and that's it's very unproductive it's very unproductive and you're not gonna get nowhere doing that guys you're not gonna get anywhere doing that so those are five things or five mistakes that men make after they break up they start begging 
They try to make her jealous. They trying to use other women to get over them by getting themselves into a relationship. They're not working on themselves. And they try to sleep with a whole bunch of women. And those are mistakes. Shout out to the free crowd. Until next time, guys. Remember what I tell you. Stay ready.